Not many can run like Jeff Washburn, an ultra-marathoner. He has completed 34 races, 100 miles long, each. That's why no one expected what would happen one fall morning. I went to meet some uh, my running buddies. We were about a half mile into the uh, run, and I tripped over a root on the trail. And as I was trying to catch myself, I felt a spark in my head. It went Ch -ch -ch, like that, and I said, oh, this can't be good. Jeff was med-flighted to Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center. He had suffered a massive stroke. This was a surprise to everyone. When I walked in to Beth Israel, there were people waiting for me in the emergency room. I just had to look at these people that you just met five minutes ago and, and put his life in their hands. And this is a T occlusion, and this is associated with a 70% mortality rate. So you have a 70% risk of dying if you have something like this. Neurosurgeon Dr. Ajit Thomas and his team at Beth Israel Deaconess readied their specialized stroke treatment unit fast. They would perform a newer technique to remove the clot that was blocking the flow of blood to Jeff's brain. So the procedure usually, we have to do it quickly because the longer you wait, the more of brain tissue is damaged irreversibly and there's more uh, dead brain. So that's our ultimate goal, to, to salvage the brain, the viable brain. So we try to get uh, everything done within 45 to 45 minutes to an hour. The procedure is called Mercy. With the help of special imaging, doctors feed a microcatheter through the groin and up into the clogged artery where the stroke occurred. A device called the Mercy Retriever is then inserted past the clot or occlusion and opened revealing a tiny coil. Surgeons then slowly pull back on the coil, removing the clot and allowing blood to flow normally. Usually we have to pass it once or twice before the vessel is open. And we are not always able to open it up. We can open it up in about 70% of the time. Within 40 minutes, the clot is removed and the blood is again flowing to Jeff's brain. The technique requires a great deal of skill on the part of the surgeon. It's like driving without any kind of, you cannot see the road ahead. So there's a high risk of perforating that vessel and causing hemorrhage. So something catastrophic could happen if you're not skilled. You won't know how much I'm encouraging this is. Bill walk without the walker. I never in my mind was, that, was I not going to get better. It's just not fast enough. It's just not fast enough, <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. He also wants to get better for his grandchildren, to teach them how to run a marathon someday. And he'd love to participate in another ultra marathon just six months from now, a Vermont race which he has done every year for the past 19 years. Well, even if I can only do a half mile, I'll be happy, but I'd love to be able to do the whole thing. That would be really remarkable.